freaking proud. You think all we might have had one so proud of my guys. Okay. These two games, especially today, I mean, how they came with this energy and this attitude and listened to the game plan and deserved to win, not taking any of the local moves. They did a great job. They got it done. It doesn't matter if all the fancy questions came in the or anything we lost today. And I wish them the best. It's a hell of a series. Um, I think this is a phenomenal game for all who watched. We've been enough to win. You think that Henri might get one right at the end? He, he was just in so close and the ball was there? Listen, there was, there was a lot of a lot of opportunities today. We put two away. Uh, could have had more. It's the same story as the first game. Um, at the end of the day, the guys left everything out there. Just as I think perhaps in the, in the circumstances, how big of a game it was, how big of a was, they did their best game. We didn't want to start switching things up too early. So I think it paid off with getting two goals. Um, but then, yes, of course, at the end, the last 20 minutes, we pushed Gary up front for Conoron and then went to Green the back for around six or seven minutes left. And the reason why we didn't switch too early is because we had the momentum, we had the opportunities, we were all over there. Uh, we felt that a goal would come. Uh, and then it never never had to switch it up. Tim Payne is in a big spot today. So it shows what we did as well. Absolutely. And then to go back to, to, go back to um, the situation with Tim over the last month, month and a half, uh, I said it to him, I said it all along. It wasn't because he wasn't doing well, it was because where he fit in this team. He had the leading goal scorer up there. But he showed today that he's a world class player. Mike, I know it's just obviously fresh, but can you reflect on Thierry and potential that maybe this was the this, this was last one? Um, I don't think there'll ever be a player in this league, there never has been, uh, ever be a player in this league that has what Thierry has in all aspects. Um, I'm sure you are, I'm sure. You guys have your opinions. I'm not in press conferences. I'm not, I don't have to deal with any the media. Um, but he's, I'm honored to have played with him, coached him, and witnessed him every day in practice, good and the bad times. Um, and whatever he decides to do, he's going to be successful. It's, it's been phenomenal two years as a head coach to have a mind like that. And well, the first 30 minutes, we didn't get Thierry ball enough, but we got to go the ball plenty. We did well. Uh, but Thierry, I've never seen Thierry more dedicated, focused, and he has definitely this week, but over the last month, and month or so. Um, so he's just his presence in the field today. With his what makes Charlie so tough to deal with? Charlie uh, Davies? The speed. Simple as that. Uh, he's a quality player, too. I'm not taking that away from him. But uh, his speed, and I thought. One of the adjustments we had to make at halftime was the point with one forward and with the lobby and Ibra, I thought that they were choosing to spread out. They just was finding little runs in between them behind. Um, he's, you know, he, he's, he's got a little bit more Lassiter in him that he's not the Tunis. Um, he's got a little bit of uh, other players that I uh, can't think of off the top of my head, but he has the pace. He's cool in front of the goal. Um, and having, having the game be over now, I can be complimentary. Um, it's great to see after what he went through that he's back and he's doing well. It's a great story and it's good for him.